Hey, what is up? Hashtag Silent Man Squad. As you can see before you, I have two boxes of the Mythical Mewtwo pin collections of Hidden Fates. So I snagged these from uh, Newberry Comics on my way home from work. I was super excited to get them. The set just came out today. And uh, because they only come with three packs per and there were only two of them, that's not a ton of packs, I decided to pick up five Unified Minds packs as well. So I'll be opening them. Uh, I'll do th three Hidden Minds first, then I'll do a pin collection, then I'll do two hidden, uh, Unified Minds, and then I'll do the last Hidden Fates. Um, I just want to showcase really these packs first. I know you can't really see them, and I'll give a better look, but you have a Mewtwo pack, a Articuno, Moltres, and Zapdos pack, and the Charizard pack, as well as the Mewtwo pack. So we got all four of the pack arts. The Charizard, Articuno, Zapdos one, obviously is being the best pack art. And it really takes me back to the Legendary Collection set back in like 2002. So we're going to get started with some uh, Unified Minds and then jump right into Hidden Fates. Uh, I've seen a few videos on, and by a few videos, I mean Lean Hurt's video on his Hidden Fates. And he had some really great pulls. Some people are already pulling that Charizard. And that Charizard, I, I don't want to assume, but like it was in the hundreds when it was in Japanese. So I can't even imagine like what it's gonna be when it's in English. So that's very exciting. Rylu, Hoopa, which is a rare, and a Levia, which is a rare. So the thing is like, I don't really care about these Unified Minds packs right now. I know that that sounds weird to say because this set just came out, what, three weeks ago? Of course, we're still after Misty's Favor, but um, really we wanna get the good stuff in these other sets. And uh, I know this is going to be the second video this week on oh, a cute little Drifloon, a Jupiter, Kangaskhan, and a Leveny again. I know this is the second video of this week, which means I, get, I like to stockpile videos, so I actually have uh, like three more videos that I've recorded. So there's there's definitely a lot more Unified Minds coming your way. I also had a uh, Dream League set. Two boxes of Dream League arrive at my house, so I need to just go... Uh, pick those up from the grocery. Or <laughs> grocery, sorry. To pick them up from the from the uh, from my house because I'm I'm living in the city, and then uh, I'll just be able to film that too. So there's a lot of good stuff coming down the line. Cubone, Drudgeon, Shroomish, another Drifloon, another Jupiter, a U-turn board, and a Talon Flame. So absolutely nothing in that first pack, and it's because I really want to showcase these these uh, the bird pack arts. I'm gonna do do this one first, but I am super, 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 super excited for this set. Probably more excited for this set than I was for Unified Minds, and I was pretty darn excited for Unified Minds, because, like, that was one of the one of the first sets that really came out during my channel. Um, it was a very anticipated set, but, uh, so whoever snags this code, you're going to be in real luck, because that, you get the entire pin collection, but that is a very nice looking Mewtwo. Sadly, both of them are Mewtwo. So they're, I don't know, you're not gonna be able to get like the in-game pin if there is an in-game pin for Mew. But here's the Mewtwo pin. I'm sad I don't get to showcase both of them. I think the Mewtwo pin is cooler because it actually has that Aerosphere ball that's like being being charged up for him. So that's a really super cool pin. Like, I, I, like I'm a big fan of that pin. And then we get into these pack arts and you have Mew, which is super cute. The Charizard. We are, we actually have, where is it? Is it? No. Uh, where's my gold star charger? There we go. Side by side comparison, 15 years later. 13 years later. <laughs> but this is the super, just insane looking pack. Like that is, that's beyond nuts. Like the three birds, and you can get the three birds in this set. So it was, and the, uh, I know I've been alluding to it, but in the Unified Mindset, there's two uh, of the birds, like two, um, there's the bird cameos, so the Ekans Articuno one is actually in this set. So there is an energy card at the front. There's also these really cool, like, um, holographic energies, like they did back in the day, so I, I really want to get a few of those too. Brock's, uh, Pewter, Pewter City Gym, Chansey, Graveler, this is, there are only 68 cards in this set, and then about 100 Seeker Rares. So Caterpie, Charmander, I'd love to get the Charmander, Shiny, Clefairy, Psyduck, 
Oh, and there we go. Our first shiny card of the day is a Gibble. I believe I do have this one in Japanese, but definitely a cool one to get. And followed up with a Jesse and James holographic card. So off the bat, that is a double. That's a twofer. So uh, if you haven't seen the um, ultra shiny boxes that I've done before or anybody else open them, the cards have this like full art texture on them, which is really awesome and almost easy to look over at first. <coughs> Sorry if you can hear me breathing. I do have some sort of a cold that I don't know why I just decided to get today, but definitely a nice looking gibble. Um, something I would really like to get is, is um, the Lucario holographic, the, or the Ralts shiny and the Lucario shiny are both very cool. Um, real, like the, the shiny full art Charizard, of course, but uh, you know, Scyther's also a very cool shiny to get. Three suggestion. There's a, the Cynthia full art is definitely a very cool card to get. Oh, an adorable Pikachu with a bunch of bubbles. I'll put that off to the side. Another Charmander. The Charmander is also cool to get. I mean, they're all cool. A Staryu. Ooh, and a Misty's Water Command. I don't know if this has a full art card version of it. Um, looks like a Waterbender there, which is really cool. But if it does, that just means there's another Misty's Full Art card that we need to go for because we still do not have Misty's Determination. Or Misty's Favor. <laughs> we don't have Misty's Determination either. But here's the last hidden fate of this box. And the annoying thing is because it's like a like a mythical pin box or whatever, it's slightly more expensive, so you're paying about 20 bucks for three packs. But it's better than what it was online. It was about $30. I was very worried to, to, that I was going to spend a sh shoot ton of money. Almost swore there, sorry. <laughs> very cool Magikarps, there's three of them. I still don't know why Magikarp is only a 30 HP Pokemon. Ekans without the Articuno, Voltorb, Geodude. There we go, that's what I was talking about. That's actually, I mean, I saw them in video, which is cool, but it's not actually as cool as I thought it was. But uh, there's one of the energies. And the final card is a Golem. So we did pull one shiny so far, which is nice because, of course, I wanted to go shiny hunting. So back into the two Unified Minds packs. Honestly, if we don't get anything in these Unified Minds packs, I do not care because we really just want to save all that good luck for those last packs in the Hidden Fates. A Bidoof. I love that Bidoof. He's just chilling, building his dam, looking at that pair. Scorpy. Wimpod, which is Wimpod and Noibet are also shinies in the Hidden Fates set. Sneasel, Blizzard Town, and an Aloma Marowak. So we've actually done 0 for 4 on the Unified Minds packs. Like, jeez, I might just stick with the Hidden Fates. I know you, you can't buy the packs individually. You have to buy them in, like, these, uh, these containers. And sooner or later, I think there's going to be tins. But, like, gosh, the pull rates are just so much better for those. Deadney, Lumino... Numel, Timono, Poplo, Snowrun, Drillbur, Cherish Ball. Ooh, and a very nice looking Giachi, Jirachi, not Giachi, Jirachi GX, which is, you know, nice card. Very shiny. There also are GXs in the set, like regular GXs, not, not full arts, but all the full art GXs, I believe, are the shiny cards, besides, like, the, the trio of birds. And alongside with this set, there's already, there's also been um, new cards shown for the new new set, like the next set that comes out sometime in, uh, I want to say uh, November, which has a trio of baby Pokemon and uh, a trio of something else, which I'm blanking on. But, oh, it's our, it's uh, Arceus, Palkia, and Dialga, which I wish they just did a Palkia, Dialga tag team, but what are you going to do? So there's the other... Very nice looking Mewtwo card. Very lucky winner will get that. And by winner, I mean whoever's fastest. <laughs> and there we go, the same Mewtwo pin. So we got three packs this time, two Charizards and a Mewtwo. So we're going to go Mewtwo, Charizard, Charizard, because we really want Charizards to be making an appearance. There is a, there is a GX Charizard card that is not like part of the uh, holo uh, not holographic shiny set, but... um. You know, you don't want that one. I mean, it's, it's still probably a very nice card. Fire Energy, Sabrina Suggestion, Pokemon Center Lady, Metapod, Caterpie. Ooh, the Metapod has something in the background. Maybe that's like a like a new tag team that they're going to do later on. Paris, Charmander, Slowpoke, Psyduck, a Weezing, and uh, nothing. Wait, that's really weird because... Okay. I swore that there was, you were guaranteed a holographic in every pack at least. Maybe, maybe I was wrong. 
because there wasn't a shiny in that pack either. So I thought all these were guaranteed a holographic, but you know what? Maybe not. Oh, and I can't open this pack. There we go. Come on, fingers crossed for the Charizard. We're on our first Charizard pack. Here we go. Psychic Energy, a Charmeleon, Graveler, Farfetch'd, Jigglypuff, Caterpie, Paris, Psyduck, Charmander. Come on, we got all of them. We just need the Charizard. Oh, no way. I didn't even know there were, like, full art trainer cards like this. What does that even say? SV88 out of SV94. That's super cool. Oh, so this is one of the cards that I was talking about, or a similar card to what I was talking about. In Unified Minds, they have some of these full art trainer cards that, that have just this, this green and blue texture with the gold, and it, it just pops. And um, I'm really happy that they brought it to the English set, because there were a lot of Japanese cards exclusively that were like this, and they're just so pretty. Like, honestly, one of the most gorgeous looking cards is, is just that. And that's so weird that that was not in in the final slot. So I guess all of the secret rares go in that slot. Cause let me check this one. All right, so there's 94 secret secret rares and Gibble was 38, eight. So you can actually get, so they, they don't go in the rare slot, even if they're the full art cards and everything like that, they're always gonna go in the reverse slot. Which, uh, you know, it's, it's cool to see that. So you can definitely double up. And if you've seen uh, my older video, like some of my other Full Art GX videos, like the uh, Ultra Shiny GX, you know that I actually have gotten some doubles in one pack, and I was like, whoa, what is this? This must be the best pack ever, but uh, I guess it's just how they do it. Farfetch'd, Magikarp, Geodude, so we're on our last pack here, Eevee. There's the Ekans with the Articuno. I think this is going to be the Shiny Reverse Slot. All right, come on, last pack. Oh, yes! You're kidding me! We got the rainbow rare version of the Moltres, Zapdos, and Articuno on the last pack! Oh my god. 69 out of 68. That is super nice. That is that is incredible. I didn't know that they had this in rainbow rare. I thought they just had the full art and the, and the, and the regular card that I've pulled in Japanese. But that just takes it a step. This is probably one of the, uh, like, I don't know how many rainbow rares there are in this set, but like, this is probably one of the ones you want. Um, this is probably the best Rainbow Rare you can get. Like, I'm going to call it right now that this is probably the best Rainbow Rare you can get. I'm going to, like, look into um, what it is and, like, pricing and everything later on. I mean, the player prices are going to be super inflated, but, like, this is probably the best Rainbow Rare you can pull. And it's probably one of the best cards in the set you can pull besides that Charizard Secret Rare Shiny. So, Wow. I never usually have that great of luck with pulling the best cards. Um, I still don't even have the dang Misty's Favor. I have a Misty's Favor Shrine, and you will see me continue to build that throughout the upcoming videos, and I just don't get it. But that is something That is something else. That is beyond incredible. So, um, wow. I cannot complain with this opening. Like, I have, I've been having okay luck with with everything um but but that just holy cow that's just insane luck so we got like six good cards and most of them were from hidden fates we got five out of six packs at something i believe so jesse and james holographic a misty's command holographic i really hope there's a full art for that a jirachi gx from unified minds the gibble shiny we did only get one shiny. I wanted to go shiny hunting, but that's okay. I'm going to definitely go out and buy more. A Brooklet Hill full art trainer card and a Rainbow Rare Moltres Zapdos Articuno GX card. That is the first time in English that you are graced with a trio. And um, just a bold prediction. I know it's not that bold. I believe that they're going to do the Suicune's Entei and... Uh, not Jolteon. Suicune Entei... And it's on the tip of my tongue. Suicune, Suicune Entei. And, uh, wow, that's really gonna annoy me. Oh my god. Well, you know, Suicune Entei and the Electric Dog. They're gonna do a trio of the Electric Dogs as well, but that is the first English trio card 
and it's not even the regular version it's not the full art version it's the gosh darn rainbow rare version which is incredible i predict this card to be over a hundred dollars i'm gonna say it right now i know it's gonna be inflated prices but i predict this card will continue to hold its value and be well over a hundred dollars so thank you guys so much for watching i'm trainer crego i'm gonna link my instagram and uh just go watch some other videos i've, I've really been loving like the com nice comments and all the likes that I've been getting on my past videos. Um, it really just means a lot to me to have even some connection with my fans. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next episode.